everyone, it's Crafty Wishes, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Palmer Clay donut. And you will need the following. I'm using Palmer Clay bed primos in the color of Iku. And I'm using Sculpey 3, and it's just blue. Then you'll need a build up ball of tin foil for texture. And then you'll need some like frosting. I'll do a separate video on that. And you'll need something to apply the frost frosting with. Something like this. And you'll also need a blade tool. I'm using my razor blade. So let's get started. I'm just going to start out by taking some Iku clay. And then you're just going to take a piece doesn't matter how large it is as long as the shape you like and then you're just going to condition it and if it's like hard like mine is you can take some clay softener or what i like to use is actually vaseline it's my friend and i like to use it just gonna squish it apply some then start conditioning it for clay like baked foods it really helps if the clay is more conditioned this helps a lot and you'll also need an eye pin if you want to make it into a charm just gonna squish it and condition it Should look something like this. And it's well conditioned. And then you're just going to roll it into a ball. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to roll it into a ball. Should look something like this. Flatten it down. Just flatten it down. And then you're going to take this needle tool and then poke a hole right in the middle. Like using this clay blade or a dotting tool. And then just poke a hole right in the middle. So it should look something like this when you're done. And then you can take whatever color clay you're using for the frosting or icing part. But first you're going to apply your icing. So I'm just going to open it. Or actually what I'm going to do is that I'm just not going to apply the frosting. And then I'm just going to make the sprinkles. But you can apply the flash frosting if you want to. Also condition this. And then roll it into a ball and then into a thin snake or log, whatever you want to call it. Roll it into a really thin snake. Okay. And then you're just going to cut it into little pieces with your blade. And then once you've cut it, just gonna apply it on to your cookie and don't cut your desk. Just gonna apply the sprinkles to your cookies and you can apply the frosting if you want. It's your choice. 
And then I'm just going to finish putting all my sprinkles on. You don't have to put a lot, but if you want to, you can change like different colors. Like you can do red and blue, green and pink or stuff like that. So yeah, and you can also do seed beads if you want for the sprinkles, but I'm just going to stick it like this. And if you want, you can also like, I learned this from Little Miss Craftaholic, like just pull it into a ball, to a thin snake, not as thin as the the sprinkles but a little, like a little thinner and then just like swirl it like make it into an s shape like this but i'm gonna do that on my other donuts so then i'm just gonna take this And you can texture it if you want. I forgot to texture it in the starting. So I'm just going to texture it now. You can shade it if you want, but just for the sake of the time, I'm not going to do it. You can also use a toothbrush if you want. Also remember to texture the sides and the front. I'm going to do the front with a toothbrush so it's easier. So once you're done, it should look something like this, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!